Wrestling fans, I'm Kevin Huntsberger. Welcome to Strive Pro Wrestling Presents Old School. And you're gonna see something a little different than a traditional Strive Pro Wrestling show. Obviously, the world is changing because of COVID-19 and we are reacting accordingly. For the safety of our fans and for our performers, we are recording all of the matches that you'll be seeing tonight. We did it over the course of several days with very limited staff for everyone's safety. So we will be having plenty of action. We're gonna have championship matches. You're gonna see all of your favorites in Stride Pro Wrestling just a little differently than you typically would. So be sure to stick around, stay tuned to social media, the Stride Pro Wrestling Facebook page and our YouTube channel for updates accordingly because your safety is key, the safety of our performers is key obviously as well, and we want you to enjoy the rest of the time here that we're kind of in this quarantine in this uncharted waters, but we want everyone to be safe and be happy and be entertained with Stride Pro Wrestling. So be sure to stick around and enjoy the rest of tonight's show. Alrighty fans, our opening contest tonight is brought to you by the Ink Spot and Royal Alliance. You can check them out on Facebook. Referee is checking Jose Magnifico. He is facing the Squire Savion Ayers. This should be a very entertaining match to say the least and Magnifico now checking the referee himself making sure that that mask is intact and nothing hidden in there. And we are underway our opening contest. Welcome to Stride Pro Wrestling presents Old School. Speaking of old school, some old school moves going on already by Jose Magnifico who Trying to get some crowd support, but maybe not remembering that there's no crowd here tonight. We are, of course, as we mentioned in the open, recording in an empty stride building as Savion goes right to the gut early in this contest. Sends Magnifico in and follows it up with a clothesline. Taunting now. Jose Magnifico, the former Stride Pro Wrestling Legacy Champion, by the way, and Savion trying to unmask. Magnifico. Yeah. Referee Kevin McCleary warning Savion to stop that. Oh! And Savion taking advantage now of that earlier attempt to take the mask away. Following it up with several kicks now to the bread basket. Referee wants him out of the corner here. Savion not doing it, choking him out now with a boot right across the esophagus. Back in the hard way. Goes for the cover here. Does he have him? No, just a one count. Savion getting a little frustrated here. Hey, get off the mat. Hey! Get off the mat. Oh! Savion obsessed with that mask and it may end up costing him here. He's getting several chops. And that echoes through this empty building here tonight. Magnifico charges in with the follow-up. Snap there. Nicely done. Neck breaker and goes for the cover here. Will get him? Hooks the leg two. Two. Only a two count. Both men now getting up to their feet. And Magnifico following him in. What's he doing here? He's again going after that mask. And the referee is uh, admonishing Savion for trying to remove the mask of Magnifico. DDT right in the middle. Can he roll him over and get the pin here? Pulls him back to the center. Not get him to no. Magnifico, on, veteran of Stride Come Pro on. Wrestling, a veteran of Southern Illinois Wrestling in general. Savion Ayers still learning a lot here in Stride Pro Wrestling. Has hung out with the Kings of Destiny most recently. A trainee of the Stride Pro Wrestling School as well. Showing what he's learning and putting Magnifico in the corner here. Whips him through. Magnifico hits hard, follows it up. Another one of those clotheslines. 
But again, obsessed with that mask. Simeon, for whatever reason, wants to mask Magnifico here tonight. Here's a move. Crucifix with that knee right in the back. Both the arms now taken away. A very painful maneuver to be in. And you can hear Magnifico hollering in pain. Got you now, old Dorco! Oh, and the insults are flying. Ah. 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 Referee checking very closely oh, no. here. Ah. As Magnifico's face now goes ah. into the mat. That could obstruct his breathing here, and we could get a submission. He's able to power through it. And now going maybe for an ankle lock here. Begs off though. And Savion with a well placed knee right to the midsection. Whip and a reversal. Nicely done there by Magnifico. Can he follow up on it? He does. Creeps an arm over Savion but kicks out at two once again. And Savion airs. And Jose Magnifico kicking off old school here with a thumb to the eye and a drop kick. It's the end. It's over. Savion says that's it. That's over. He pulls the mask off. He got the mask. But does he really? Uh, I don't want to break it to him, but the mask is still intact. And a suplex. Rolling through here. We're going to get another one. That's two. And Magnifico maybe getting some air time here tonight. Going to the top rope. Rock splash, hooks the legs. That is enough. Jose Magnifico has defeated Savion Ayers. And at this time, folks, we're going to toss it back to Rachel, who is backstage with the Stride Pro Wrestling Women's Champion, Zoe Moore. Hey guys, I'm joined with Zoe Moore here, um, the new Stride Women's Champion. Zoe, how's it feel to be the new Stride Women's Champion? Um, it feels great. I am just so excited to be a champion that all of you know the fans can be proud of, especially the young girls out there. So this was really a win for them. Awesome. So what can we expect now? from Zoe Moore. Um, I'm, I'm ready to fight. I'm here for any challenge that is gonna be thrown my way and I'm just excited to see what happens next. Awesome, well thanks for joining us. Back to you, Kevin. Alrighty fans, our next match is for the Stride Pro Wrestling Women's Championship and it is brought to you by Backyard Burger in Marion, Illinois. They are still available for drive-through and takeout orders. So be sure again, as we've talked about, support our local businesses as we are trying our very best here to provide some entertainment and let you guys know that uh, there are still businesses out there and working as referee Duke Randall checking Zoe Moore and showing off that Stride Pro Wrestling Women's Championship. This is Anne Marie taking on Zoe Moore for the Stride Pro Wrestling Women's Championship. up here between these two ladies, both working and training at the Stride Pro Wrestling School. Duke Randall, by the way, also a trainee. Zoe Moore fights out, kicks out of that. As these two size each other up one more time here. Another lockup, collar and elbow. Hip toss by the champ. Zoe Moore winning the Stride Pro Wrestling Women's Championship from Carrie Gold at our Stride Anniversary event. Oh, and a chop. Zoe Moore moving in and taking Anne Marie down. Pulling her back up. And a dog headlock here is goes for the cover. Is that going to be enough? No, challenger Anne-Marie kicking out here. 
Zoe asking about the count. The referee assures her it was a two count. Oh, and a slap by Anne Marie as she now takes a hike. Anne Marie calling for a timeout. One, two, come on, both of you. Zoe Moore giving chase now. Chasing the challenger back in. Gets caught though, and a handful of hair. And Marie now taunting Zoe Moore. And a snapmare out of the corner. Put into a chin lock now. And Marie taunting Zoe Moore here. If she has her right in the middle of the ring, and what could be a submission hold here. But Zoe powering through and fighting. Hoping to be a role model for the young ladies out there, the fans of Stride Pro Wrestling and beyond. Whip around here, and a clothesline. Champ is down and hooks the leg. Kicks out at two, though. Duke Randall and Anne Marie arguing now over the count. Two. That was three. Two. She was convinced it was three. And now Zoe Moore coming out of the corner like a champion on fire here, and another clothesline takes down Anne Marie. Forearm smash right to the face. Whip and reversal. Face planted. Beautifully done here. The champ hooks the leg. But another Two. kick out here. Two, Zoe. Two. 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 Okay. Zoe Moore coming up with a new strategy, a new plan here. Ah. Unable to put the, champ, oh, the challenger there. away. Oh, and a big slap by the champ. Face Buster right there on the knee. Two. That's enough. Ladies and gentlemen, Zoe Moore has retained the Stride Pro Wrestling Women's Championship. Where? Defeating challenger Anne Marie. Hello, wrestling fans. Stride Pro Wrestling General Manager Sam Hunter here, thanking you for continuing to support Stride Pro Wrestling, whether you're watching on Facebook, whether you're watching on YouTube. The COVID-19 situation has gotten a little worse, but it's going to eventually get better and eventually we'll be, be able to have events once again here in the Stride Pro Wrestling Arena and all around Southern Illinois. Last time you guys saw us, it was at Strideversary. And at Strideversary, I guess I seemingly made a lot of people mad. First of all, I've got Roger Mathis talking to me about how it wasn't fair that he and Savion had to defend the tag team titles instead of him and Chris Hargis. Then you got Axe Allworth mad at me because he didn't get pinned in the main event at Strideversary, but yet he lost the heavyweight championship. Cash Borden's mad at me for whatever reason Cash Borden's going to be mad at me. And so here's what I'm going to do to rectify all those situations. I'm going to put the three of them, Cash Borden, Roger Mathis, and Axe Allworth, in a four-way match with Red Daniels for the Stride Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. And the four of them can fight it out and they can do whatever they want to in order to get this situation resolved. Listen, you want to talk about being mad? Well, sir, I am livid. You know, I had that, I had the finals of the Stride Cup won until you had to come butting your little nose into my business. The B-Rad business. First of all, don't touch me. I don't know where you've been, soulless ginger. You know, you're another person that's been in my side right now, and I did what was fair last time. But I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm a giving person. I like to give opportunity. How nice. How would you like to submit your legacy here? Oh, Pro Wrestling? that's all I want to do. That's all you want to do is submit your legacy, right? Well, I'm going to give you a chance to submit your legacy here in Stride Pro Wrestling, and here's how you're going to do it. Tonight, you are going to go one-on-one -on -one with Heath Hatton no, 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 for the no, no, Stride no, no, Pro no, Wrestling no, no, Legacy no. Top. What, what's wrong, little man? No, 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 no
sorry. Yeah, you're sorry now, but you know what? Sorry. Tough cookies. You're gonna have to deal with it. No, 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 no. Yeah, you, no you, I'm you, good. You, I'm good. I'm just. No, 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 no. Hey, listen. Kay. Let me ask you a question. Whenever you get a paycheck from here, who signs it? Sam Hunter. And who? And what are you gonna do? You're gonna do what Sam Hunter wants. And tonight, you're gonna face Heath Hatton for the legacy title. People, man. Hey, Heath, good buddy old pal. How are you doing today? Good buddy. A lot better than you. What was that for? Now, you see, I don't, I don't think we should wrestle tonight. You see, Sam, he's just being a stupid idiot loser, and he's trying to spite me. Okay, so, so don't match. You don't, you don't want a shot at the legacy belt. No, I don't think I want to because I think you're a great, the greatest legacy champion ever. You're my favorite. Okay, so that's it. No match. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. See, Sam's a buddy of mine. And he's a friend, and he's already signed the match and I've already agreed to do it and I'm contractually obligated to do this. So what? I would hate to give these fans No, no, know, no, 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 no. For them not to no. get this match. So no, uh, no. see you out there, cutie. This is absurd. Oh my god. Alrighty folks, our next contest is brought to you by Silkworm in Murfreesboro. We look now into the ring and the masked assassin too taking on Tony London. Assassin, are you ready? Tony London, are you ready? Ring the bell! Referee calls for the bell. Oh. Oh. Tony London, I have uh, legs of flurry here. Or fury, I should say, as London. Whoa, and it's a hurry. The masked assassin, too, is already out on his feet. London up high. Beautiful elbow drop from the top. Hooks the leg. Look at that. That may be a new Stride Pro Wrestling record. That is in what? under a minute. Folks, your winner here, Tony London, as we will be back with more great action right after this. It's time for school, but you're not going to be saved by this bell. Established in 2016, Stride Pro Wrestling trainers have put their years of experience to help train the next generation of professional wrestlers. Nearly a dozen students have graduated and are now making a name for themselves, not only here at Stride Pro Wrestling, but beyond. Our athletes aren't locked into any long-term contracts. So if you want to train, use your head and contact Stride Pro Wrestling today. It's training you'll flip for. So kick your future into high gear now. Joined tonight by Dexter Roswell. Dexter, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I know, you're so wonderful. So, yes. Look at this, look what I found. This was in my bag. I don't really know how I got it, but... Um, I don't know if I should give it back to Bo Sawyer, but you know, nine possession, nine tenths of the law. So yeah, new champion. So, um, you know, this, this is kind of vague, no limits. Are we talking about speed limits, uh, weight limits, limits of the universe, being limitless? Oh, nobody wants that. <sighs> I just okay, don't know. Okay. You have a match tonight against Scott Phoenix, right? Your former Ooh, tag team. Scott Phoenix, yes, okay. yes. We go way back, wow, three, three and a half years. Wow. That's a long time. Wow. Um, we trained together. We partnered together. We won tag team titles together. I kind of carried him, but don't tell him that. Um, but you know what? Just like I don't really know how I got this title, Scotty just doesn't know either. Um, but I will prove tonight to him that, uh, yeah, I'm the champion. And that's never going to change, so deal with it. And yeah! All right, thank you for that. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, Rachel. Our next match is brought to you by the My One Two Three Cents podcast on the Jittery Monkey Podcasting Network, dropping every Monday online on your favorite podcasting app. And now, this contest is for the No Limits Championship. You see, 
The referee checking Dexter Roswell, who we just heard from backstage, recently wow. capturing that No Limits Championship. He will be defending against, he mentioned it during that interview, his former tag team partner in Scott Phoenix. These two were part of the DR party and uh, referee now calling for the bell. Referee Justin calls for the bell here as it is uh, former friends, former partners, and actually training buddies too. Wait, These two came wait. to the Stride Pro Wrestling Training School together. These are dangerous times. Oh, Dexter is dangerous going for a mask here. Okay. You know what? You need one too. Offering a mask to his yeah. former friend here. Oh. Quickly now, taking the advantage here with an arm ring. Dexter reverses it. Trying to escape here. And Phoenix reverses it now. Taking Dexter down to one knee. near fall of this match and now again referee counts but Dexter no. the defending champion here is able no. to kick out no. Roswell as we mentioned winning no. the No Limits Championship at our Strideversary event in March against Bo Sawyer although he claims he has no recollection says he just found the belt but uh, We've seen video proof of the contrary to that claim. And Scott Phoenix, uh, one of the winningest tag team champions in Stride Pro Wrestling history, winning it not only with Dexter Roswell, but with Axe Allward and Farmer Billy Bills as well as the champion now throwing some fist here and getting Ros uh, Roswell back in Phoenix into the corner. Escape and a nice cover here. Not quite enough though, Scott Phoenix looking a little frustrated, sending Dexter into the corner, whipped in now, goes for the high cross body, but misses in a drop by Scott Phoenix and Dexter, the champion, taking a break here. As we mentioned, all of these matches at the empty Stride Pro Wrestling Building Oh, Phoenix thought he was going to catapult himself out, but chooses not to, and instead throws a couple of fists at Roswell. Back into the ring is the champion, and Phoenix looking to climb here. Use that elbow drop in the past. What's he doing here? Tornado DDT, perhaps, but Roswell stops that from happening. Phoenix is hurt as the referee checks. And a one-man applause here as Roswell rewarding his own efforts. And Phoenix gets a kick. Choking him on the ropes. The referee putting the countdown here. When you can't breathe, you can't breathe. Dexter Roswell, as we've mentioned before too, going through some transformations as of late. We saw a bloody Dexter Roswell win the No Limits Championship. Back to uh, politician Dexter Roswell in Springfield, Illinois. Oh, several lifts. Oh, and Dexter Roswell taking advantage of Phoenix's long hair, pulling him down to the mat. We are proud to bring you old school here on a very unique format. Four Stride Pro Wrestling, a kick out here. Two. Come on, We've mentioned it before. Check us out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course YouTube, where you are watching this video now. We appreciate the support. Kind of made some 
minutes with what we do here. And kick out by Dexter Roswell from that sense of flip. Big clothesline now by Dexter Roswell. The champ getting more aggressive here. Roswell is frustrated that was not the end of this. Scott Phoenix not giving up. Roswell frustrated by that. Maybe he did learn something. Claiming he was the better half, the stronger half of that tag team, and now taking him across that top rope. Referee breaks it up though, and Roswell dispenses of Scott Phoenix. Elbow across that neck now. There's a second. As Scott Phoenix pushes back. Now almost taunting the challenger here is Dexter Roswell with a big scoop. Slam. Hook the leg. That might be enough. Two. Phoenix though kicks out. Five. Roswell now sizing up his challenger here. And he put him away. Big kick. Kind of slow in the cover though. And does a couple leg, and Phoenix is able to kick out at two. That's fine. Calling for another one here. Come on, Scotty! As Dexter Roswell taunting Phoenix one more time. This time, Phoenix ducks. A big clothesline. The second one. He's a house of fire. Roswell misses. Phoenix does not, though. He's right on point. Whipped into the ropes in a reversal. But Phoenix with a knee on, on Dexter Roswell, who is groggy and drops down. Kick to the breadbasket. That curb stop could be coming. No, Roswell, the champion, very wisely getting out of the ring. One. Champ's advantage One. here. It is prerogative to get out of that ring. I don't know exactly what he's doing. Come on. And Phoenix Come on. is giving chase here. Two. Oh! That chair right into the midsection. There's the bell. Referee undoubtedly going to disqualify Dexter Roswell as he leaves and heads to the back. And our referee now checking on Scott Phoenix. <coughs> So Scott Phoenix is your winner here by disqualification in this No Limits Championship match. And speaking of championship matches, the Stride Pro Wrestling heavyweight title will be defended later tonight. We're going to hear now from one of the contenders and the former champion himself, Axe Allwork. He's standing by now with our Rachel. Thanks, Kevin. Um, I'm here joined tonight by former heavyweight champion, Axe Allwork. Axe, how do you feel about your match tonight? How do I feel about it? I don't feel real good at all. In fact, I'm actually pretty disgusted with the fact that they've got a girl in the locker room interviewing me. Back in the 80s, they never let girls backstage. Why don't you go get in the kitchen and make me something to eat, all right? Sam Hunter, I said, you're out here saying you're tired of hearing me complain. You're tired of hearing me complain? I'm the greatest champion that's ever been in this area. And you're saying... Oh, you're going to give me a title shot? Hey, guess what, fat boy? I want a one-on-one -on -one title match, like wrestling used to be when it was good. You put me in a match with another guy, he gets pinned, I lose my belt again. All right? Now you're going to do me a big favor and put me in a four-way match. Well, they're going to gang up on me because I'm the best. When you're the best, everybody gangs up on you. Well, I'm going to tell you what, fat boy. I don't care. I'm going to defy the odds. I'm taking the belt, and then I'm coming looking for you. What's this? Hey, what's going on, man? How, how you doing? Oh, these these are bands. Oh, is that what we won last night? Is it, is it those? No, I yeah. Well, I did I did a couple sets. A couple. That's probably why I did got a good pump. Gotcha. Uh, All right. So that was a pretty good match. There, it right? was it, last yeah. night. I mean, Roger's so big. How did? I'm sorry. Like, 
the cannonball it squished. I threw up afterwards because it, it can't it cannonball. I did too. Like it. It looked good. Yeah. Um, All right. But uh, well, who do we got tonight? Uh, the Kellis, 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 Kellis. Kellis, right? Kellis. Brothers? They're brothers. Are they? They're not best friends, though. They're not. No, that's us. <laughs> that's right. That's like, us. you wouldn't say they're buddies. Even no. Though no, no, that's us. No. Yeah, we got that. They don't have a cool theme song, either. Not even, no. It's a really awesome show. Um, you ready to go? Yeah, I'm good. I'm okay. Good. All right. Yeah. Oh, hey, Jay. Yeah. Did you yeah. get your belt? They didn't. You didn't. They were tagged. There's two of them. You don't. All right, I'm gonna. I, did, I didn't get one. You didn't get one. All right, I, tonight you're gonna take this one. Oh, there we go. All right, let's go. Okay. Well, thanks. All right, cool. All right, wrestling fans, this Stride Pro Wrestling Tag Team Championship match is brought to you by Wild Bunch Athletics, located in Norris City, Illinois. And Jay Spade and Dalton Anthony, the wrestling buddies, just won the Stride Pro Wrestling Tag Team Championship from the Kings of Destiny. That uh, being Savion Ayers and Big Roger Mathis, of course, Savion Ayers filling in for Chris Hargis. But the champs, the wrestling buddies, finding themselves in their very first title defense as they take on AJ and TJ Kellis. There's the bell. The Kellis brothers, also known as Double Trouble, as we get a collar and elbow by Dalton Anthony and TJ Kellis. Folks, a, a very hard-fought battle for the Tag Team Championships as the wrestling buddies get captured those belts, or at least one of the belts. Chris Hargis was not able to attend Stridiversary and subsequently has the championship with him still. That is why you saw Jason May come out uh, without a belt, uh, as he and Dalton alluded to in our locker room area before this contest started. Oh, a swing and a miss, and Dalton Anthony connects, since TJ is the corner, but it is reversed, and TJ catches a boot for his trouble, misses the close line, and a drop kick, nicely executed, and Dalton moves in hard, goes for a quick cover here, is it enough? Two! As Dalton Anthony tries to make short work of... TJ Kellis, again, one half of Double Trouble. We've seen the Kellis brothers ride for a few months now. And now, Jay Spade, the veteran of this group, and in the ring against TJ Kellis. TJ is fighting his way out of this, or trying to, gets free. But an arm drag takedown, and he's locked in there. Brother AJ rooting on TJ from the apron here. And another tag by the champs. Working very smartly here, very wisely keeping TJ Kellis on their half of the ring. Oh, a quick break to the eyes though. And we get the first showing by AJ Kellis here now. It's Dalton Anthony. Get beat down. Big AJ off the ropes and a big splash. Is that going to be enough? Hooks the leg. It could be. No. We were just a second away from new tag team champions here inside Pro Wrestling. Such a rich heritage, a rich tradition of the Scribe Pro Wrestling Tag Team Championship. Mitch! A double suplex there. Many great teams have worn those belts here in Stride. And now AJ Kellis taking over with a front face lock on Dalton Anthony here. Dragging him over to his corner. Now the challengers very wisely working and keeping Dalton Anthony occupied. Stomping him in the corner. Keeping him put to the mat. And a snap there. Reverse chin lock now by AJ Kellis. Folks, we are proud to present this show for you. Uh, obviously in front of, or not in front of, a, an audience here. We recorded all of these matches individually uh, over the course of several days leading up to the big show here on April 11th. We appreciate everyone tuning in and subscribing to our YouTube channel. 
and the challenger still doing a number on Dalton Anthony, one half of the wrestling buddies, who's one half of the Strive Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Oh, Dalton fights back though. Kick into the corner. A quick tag to Spade, a quick tag to TJ Pellis, and whoa, a clothesline. Back elbow there now. Another whip into that corner. Spade follows up. But gets ejected over the top, but stays on the apron. And Spade with a kick to AJ Kellis. Oh, a beautiful DDT onto TJ Kellis. And Spade now in control here once again. The wrestling buddies and a gigantic super kick. He took his head off. That's got to be it. No, the big brother breaks up that count as AJ Kellis interrupts it here. Oh, and drops Spade's throat across that top rope. AJ capitalizes, goes for the cover. Oh, Dalton Anthony with the save there now. The wrestling buddies live to fight a little longer here. Uh-oh, Dalton Anthony now dumped out by AJ Kellis. Brother tandem here to make it dangerous together. As Spade holds on and ejects AJ Kellis as TJ now goes for a waist lock. Roll up, but not the legal man. As Dalton Anthony now, oh, taken over here. Beautifully executed, hooks the leg. That is it, folks. Your winners and still Stride Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champions, the Wrestling Buddies, Jay Spade and Dalton Anthony. We're gonna go backstage now with our colleague Rachel. We'll be back with more wrestling action. Thanks, Kevin. I'm here uh, with Cash Ford. Cash, how do you feel about tonight's match? First off, glad to see you and your boyfriend took some time off from TikTok. How do I feel t about tonight's match? Sam, you have stacked the deck against me. You have stacked the deck against me just like you did X alt work last month. This though, this ain't gonna phase me at all. You see tonight, I'm gonna walk out there, I'm gonna beat all three of them. One, two, three. Leave them laying, finished, Vabito, done! What's up, big boy? Make some tape. Yep. Thanks for take, kid. Yeah, bet you're looking forward to that match tonight, aren't you, big boy? Yeah. Back to you, Kevin. Alrighty, folks, you heard the announcement earlier. General Manager Sam Hunter making this for the Legacy Championship, and this match is brought to you by Mackey's Pizza of Marion and Harrisburg, Illinois. Be sure to check them out. Go through and get you some curbside service. Again, supporting local business here in Southern Illinois. And there we see the Stride Pro Wrestling Legacy Championship. Heath Hatton winning it from Mike Masters at Strideversary last month in what has now been announced as Mike Masters' final match. Let's get it on, ring bell. And the bell has sounded, and here we go. B-Rad. Sometimes his uh, mouth gets a little bit in his way. Irritated general manager Sam Hunter and uh, saying his hair was pulled. I didn't see it either. B-Rad, a trainee here as well of the Stride School. Lock turned into a side headlock here. B-Rad thinks he's won it already, but that's not the case and quickly goes down. Forearm, two of them, breaks the hole. Crab kick by Hatton. Goes early to pin the challenger here. Only a one count. B-Rad, taking that top turnbuckle pad off. And Hatton, flying in. Snapmare, and a kick. Goes for the cover, will it be enough? 
Spirak kicks out. But we are missing a turnbuckle here now. Patton almost taunting the rat. That shoulder just drove right into that exposed turnbuckle. B-Rad taking out Patton's shoulder, working it now, and you can hear the pain coming from Heath Patton. Oh, and just stretching it even further now. That might be enough. Does not hook a leg. Two. The champ kicks out. Two. Three. Two. B-Rad has certainly taken an early advantage in this matchup. Even though that exposed turnbuckle is is really oh! has turned the tide here, and there it goes again. Oh! Referee needs to oh! get in there. Two. Come on. Oh, oh, look at this! Come on! Oh! He's oh! gonna break his arm doing that. Oh! Get back in the ring, B-Rad. Referee telling B-Rad to get back into oh! the ring, and he obliges. Oh! And look at this nonchalant oh! cover. What? Patton quickly removes the foot stay from down. his chest oh. as B-Rad tells him to stay down. Defense. Defense. Oh. And very nonchalant here. And again, Patton kicking uh. out. Come on, right? Come on. Uh. B-Rad disagreeing with our referee here, Duke Randall. Uh. Oh. See that turnbuckle laying on the Outside is a couple of fists here and a rock bottom, perhaps no. Driven into the mat, Hatton head first now. B Rad again though, not hooking a leg. Two. His confidence and cockiness may get in his way here from achieving great success in Stride Pro Wrestling. This again is for the Stride Pro Wrestling oh, yeah, Legacy Championship. B-Rad says he's going to end Hatton's oh, no. career, but that is not going to happen. Hatton oh. fights back. Oh, a thumb to the eye. Can't see. It's hard to uh, get things done in that ring, that is for sure. Vision obstructed. And a body slam. Hatton down to the mat now. Again, B-Rad goes for a cover. Not nearly enough, though. Keep the champion down. Watch this, people. Come on, Hatton. Get up. B-Rad up now. Get up. One. Oh, a well-placed boot. Oh, and a super kick to the jaw. Is that going to be enough? No, B-Rad is able to kick out. He has the wherewithal to get that shoulder up before the referee counted three. Again, we are bringing this presentation of old school without a studio well, audience. B-Rad rolls out though, he sensed that uh, spear was coming. Oh, oh no, no, you're not done. And back now to that shoulder and arm of Hatton. B-Rad, an opportunist for sure, taking full advantage of the situation. A spear, B-Rad's calling for it. I've never seen him do a spear. Oh, nearly hit the referee. Oh! Referee Zach, is, or uh, Duke Randall has gone down. And B-Rad has the championship belt. Come on, ref. And ducks it in a spear of his own. B-Rad is out. Was gonna hit Hat for the Legacy Championship, and why is the referee not counting? No, no. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Calling for the bell. What's going on, ref? Disqualification. Hat is disqualified for hitting Beer with the bell. Here by four. The winner is Beer. What? Yeah. The winner. Yeah. Beer. B-Rad has just defeated Heath Hatton by disqualification. Of course, the Legacy Championship will not change hands. I did it! I beat Heath Hatton! Yes! Raph, raise my hand again! Yeah! B-Rad 
Conrad is milking this for all it's worth. I beat you, parents. Come on, Dad. B Rad scurrying here. Patton is not happy, and, and folks, we're getting word now something is going on backstage. Let's check in one more time with our colleague Rachel. Rachel, what's going on back there? Here. Oh my gosh! Get help! Get help! So Already, oh wrestling God. fans, despite the condition we just saw of champion Red Daniels, this match is going to continue. Our main event is brought to you tonight by Idea Creative Marketing in Carbondale, Illinois. Check out ideacreativemarketing.com as we are now looking from a fatal four-way to a triple threat match. The referee checking Cash Borden, one of the challengers here. Now it's uh, Red Daniel, or, I'm sorry, Axel Allworth, the former Stride Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, having just lost the belt at Strideversary last month. And referee telling them to put those chains away and Axe not wanting to comply with that request. And now Big Roger Mathis, a former Stride Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion himself. By the way, all three of these men holding that belt at one time or another. Axe Allworth, the very first and the longest reigning champion in Stride Pro Wrestling history. And the trash talk has started from Cash Borden, as all three men now feeling each other out, it's gonna determine how this match is going to kick off, and Axe already taking a hike. He's not gonna win the championship that way. Oh! A slap by Cash Borden, and then Roger Mathis lays him out with a big punch, and now he's fighting Axe Allward. And in my estimation, I don't know that Axe Allward and Roger Mathis have been in the ring against each other before or not. Cash Borden taking it to the former champion right away. But kick to the mat towards that by Roger Mathis. Showing a lot of fire, a lot of fight here. But it stops quickly. By a well-placed boot, hey, go ahead, go ahead. by the Viking King here, the King of Destiny, one of the Kings of Destiny, and now Cash Borden getting double teamed here, where a new alliance appears to be emerging between Axe Allward and Roger Mathis. Obviously the smaller of the three men here, almost being bullied on. And once again, folks, this is for the Stride Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Although the champion, Red Daniels, nowhere to be found. He's been, he's been attacked by someone backstage. He's being treated by medical personnel. Now Axe Allward with an elbow right under the chin of Cash Borden, who is laid out. Axe taking it out side of the ring. And across that windpipe one more time. And they're just basically yeah! taking full advantage. Yeah! Trying to suplex Cash Borden, but he's finally, after grabbing onto that top yeah. rope, but Axe Allward kind of broke that up. And Cash Borden laid out here. Again, the first man to score a pinfall or submission. Again, a stride pro wrestling heavyweight champion. Well placed knee to the basket and an elbow right across that neck of Cash Board, who is taking a lot of punishment in the opening of this match. Uppercut by Axe Allward. Roger sizes him up. Oh, those strikes to the back of Cash Borden who is gasping for air now as these two are picking hey, bones. No rules, that's right. This is a... It is billed as a fatal forward, but only three men involved right now as champion Red Daniels incapacitated backstage. A double noggin knocker by, Ax or by Cash Borden on Axe Allward and Roger Mathis. Driven down to the mat now. Cash Borden making a comeback of sorts. Is it going to be enough though? Back body 
drop. And Axe Allwork quickly uh, breaks up that pinfall attempt. And it looks like the alliance that we didn't expect is quickly coming to an end here. Roger Mathis now throws those big fists right back at the champion. Again, the first outing for these two in my uh, memory here in Tribal Wrestling. And a big tackle there by Roger Mathis. Oh, and a kick. Those strikes, those kicks are so brutal, so dangerous. Now he's working on that knee here. Oh, he's got him locked in. We make it a submission here. We make it a submission. That's all we're trying to get to the ropes. Cash Borden is out of it. We make it a submission right here in the middle of the ring. Axe Allwork holding on for dear life. Wait a minute, wait a minute, it's Red Daniels! Red Daniels is now in this match with a big leg drop on Roger Mathis, depositing him over the top rope. Red Daniels though quickly tossed to the floor here as well. Cash Borden flying, oh! Taking out the champion and the challenger. You're next, man. And there goes Cash. Oh, he misses though. And now Axe Allwork. What's he doing? He's got a chair. Whoa! Right to the midsection. Oh, to the midsection of both the champion and the challenger. And oh! Striking Cash Borden right across the head. Axe Allwork going to take full advantage of this. No doubt about it. Pile driver coming up. This could be over before you know it. No, not a pile driver. It's the Iron Maiden, a submission move here. Will Cash Borden give up? Oh! Roger Mathis now saving Cash Borden, the very man he was beating up just a few moments ago. Again, this is for the Stride Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. All four of these men have tasted that gold before. Axe Allwork going to the corner here. Don't like the looks of this as that chain comes into play now. We've seen it before, and it's not taking the big man down quite yet. Oh, Inzaguri by Cash Borden. Red Dawn by Red Daniels. And the big man is rolling out here. Red Daniels and Axe Allward, a big grudge here as they go at it. Cash Borden now. Skelter, is that going to be enough to put out Axe Allward? He goes for the cover and hooks the leg. Oh, Red Daniels seeing his championship. He doesn't have to be the man pinned here to lose. Saves the championship as he and Cash Borden now going toe to toe. Oh, and Helter Skelter, no, reverse. Oh, but Cash Borden punches him. Red Dawn coming up. No block. Oh, stomps the foot. And a kick right below the belt. Come on, Cash. Helter Skelter of his own. Cash Borden could take full advantage here and win the championship back. Axe Allward stops it, though. Throws him out to Roger Mathis. Two, three. Axe Allward has regained the Stride Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, history made here at Old School as Axe Allward limping and all, grabbing yeah! his chains. He is once again the Stride Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. What? What? Cash Borden uh, not happy about that situation at all. Germex, Fred! Germex! Germex! Roger Mathis stunned. Red Daniels taken out. He was attacked earlier in the night. We don't know by who. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! Axe Allwork, the winner and new Stride Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. Oh, Red sucks. <laughs> Red sucks. We want to thank everyone.
for tuning in to this special presentation of Stride Pro Wrestling Old School. Stick around, follow us on social media for the very latest updates with Stride Pro Wrestling. Peace.